Всем добрый день. А, наш следующий спикер в августе этого года стал 72-м из сотни самых приятельных фигур в барной индустрии по версии Dream International. Сегодня он проанализирует, как мэтры Джерри Томас, Фрэнк Мейер и Гарри Кредит начинали рекламировать свои коктейли, работая с визуальным эффектом цветов и техникой, основываясь на информации из их книг. Встречайте, Диего Феррари. The second time in the, this uh, incredible uh, venue and uh, the second master class. Someone of you maybe was uh, in the main stage yesterday. I was uh, talking about uh, the cocktail art uh, roots uh, from uh, the, the, the Jerry Thomas art today. Today we analyze it a different point of view. So we're speaking about the marketing in the bar scene from Jerry Thomas until today. What do you mean? Every time when you go inside a, a cocktail bar or you're analyzing maybe a simple brand all around the world, your first question is, uh, wow, why this brand is more famous? Why this uh, uh, product is more famous? Why this cocktail is so famous? Why this bartender is almost so famous? Uh, I studied this uh, incredible uh, uh, part of the bar scene in the last few years, when I discovered a natural talent for promoting myself. Some of you may know me, some of you may don't know me. Uh, my name is Diego Ferrari, I live in Milano. I'm uh, uh, actually in this time, currently, as the uh, Rome Ambassador for Matusalem Group for all Europe. Then also, I'm the founder of the Cocktail Art Group uh, with uh, my uh, partner and friend Shane Eaton. Welcome, Shane. We are introducing all around the world uh, something beautiful and amazing. So, how the cocktails are made all around the world. So, the marketing in the maestro era. We start to analyze, first of all, our maestro, because uh, without maestros uh, like Jerry Thomas, Eric Fred, and Fred Mayer, we have nothing, we are nobody. Because they start to promote themselves throughout a different way. One of those was uh, the books. We have to imagine to be in the end of the 19th century and uh, be, to be in front of these incredible gentlemen uh, and uh, discovery they created the first book about the cocktail. Inside of that book, you can see incredible uh, draws, things about uh, cocktails. And in that time, the cocktail was so new and was a discovery for uh, a lot of people. Before that, there was just a simple service of vehicles uh, or spirits, no more than this. The cocktails then was created uh, just a few seconds ago. After that, the book was the first promoting of the job of the Jerry Thomas or uh, Eric Credo or Frank Mayer. There was also a different approach to the technique work. Why the technique work uh, is in the marketing and important uh, step? Because uh, you have to imagine, if you are not the only bartender in the world, when some colleague visits you, you making drinks with different, maybe innovative technique work, you are PR of yourself. So is it connected also into the book? Because it's a logical step. You make a book, you are a bartender, then also you have to show maybe some new technique for uh, that era, Jerry Thomas was uh, the first one. You have to imagine there was not the, the, the word uh, fair bartending, uh, but then he discovered it to be fair bartending. The Blue Blazer was a kind of uh, uh, fair bartending style. Then also the rolling up, we know the rolling up technique were like a troll. Was so amazing. So the people when he was in front of him say, "Wow, it's incredible! But who is this guy? Who is this artist?" Like I said yesterday, the cocktail art uh, masterclass. This, this, uh, this person is one of the most famous and professional bartender in the world. Then also marketing was not only to be a great bartender, make a great cocktail with a beautiful draw. Then make cocktails. Why marketing should have cocktails? This is a rule important also today. You have to imagine to stay sit down in, a, in, in, in this bar and uh, the waiter across the floor with the tray will talk to this incredible cocktail. If you think also today you can do the same. 
you are sitting down with your wife, friends, uh, your girlfriend, and the table you, you, you see just on the floor is incredible poster, and you call the lady, the waiter, to say, let me ask you, what the guy asked him, what is serving? This is a cocktail and make it like this, like that. Uh, so, visual effect, visual approach. We know before to buy something that we would like to buy because our brain is more than fast than our decision. He knows already how to capture and buy something in front of us. Especially when you go to the supermarket, you never ask them for uh, why, I don't know, barina pasta, is it uh, on this side of the, the screen in the supermarket? <laughs> Why the colors are blue and white, or gray and white, and not uh, uh, brown and uh, purple? Because there is a big study about the marketing, especially for the food, who recognize the, uh, the perception to guide our eyes and our approach. So we arrive immediately to know how. It, okay, here we are, Marilla. I know already is it. You know what I mean? This is a really incredible world. And behind all these steps, uh, arrived to the centers of study of the marketing, we can also promote our job as Jack Thomas do it in the first time. You have to imagine to see a I mean in that era where is an old this incredible uh, mean there is a glass with something inside, nobody saw the cocktail before. You say, wow, I love it. I buy it, I pay you. So, the perfect step of the marketing, you know what I mean. The visual are also how you serve cocktails. A lot of people, they doesn't understand how it's important to understand the, the end color of the drink. Then the balance from the garnish and the shapes of the cocktail, you know what I mean? It's like if you serve uh, the best simple, but the best cocktail martini in a big glass like this, but it's a, just a under an error. Oh my god, it's not really beautiful to see, no? There is not comparison, there is not a balance in the visual effect. One of the most uh, uh, incredible cocktails was uh, the Pousse Lamour, because it was a, a layer cocktail, and it was an incredible innovative drink. Without garnish, when the, the customer, the client, see this cocktail with a different color layer, for, for him was like, well, how do you do this, this cocktail? Why there is a lot of there different layers? Now we know we are about to play with the density of the sugar. But in the beginning, and also not my customer, it doesn't know this effect. Like, it's like if you make a, the rainbow shop, you know what I mean? You put everything inside of, of your uh, mixing glass, the people that, that doesn't understand it. The first impression is like, how? Oh, you put just a different color, but in the end, you make different shots and the color is like the rainbow. Oh my god, it's a magic trick? What is that? No, it's a logical, physical study of the sugarness and density. Another incredible cocktail, the crustas. Everyone now tried to remake the crustas, but was created 150, 160 years ago. And, uh, and my dream is that uh, if there is a, the, 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 some machine to bring in the back to see the face behind the bar of the people the first time to see that cocktails. And not a sample glass with a vermouth inside of cognac. I want to see how the reaction of the people uh, about the cocktail when they are working around the, the waiter and see, oh my god, actually we can do it as well. Try to make a cocktail uh, futuristic, amateuristic. But we don't go too far. We go in the night chart, we go in the Oreo, and uh, we see these incredible cocktails passing in front of you. You say, oh my god, I wanted that. No, 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 I, I wanted want want something else. But everything is so beautiful. But why? Because we are captured from our eyes. This is a pure marketing. It's a, the base to sell something. After, of course, I suppose, you are a bartender, you make an incredible cocktail inside. But trust me, sometimes the people, they buy cocktails only for the experience. One uh, uh, example in top of, in 1998, I tried to make uh, a link of two incredible work, different, the positive side, the tattoo artist and cocktails. What I did, I tried to use the cocktail, the, the uh, tattoo gun, for uh, aromatize 
the cocktail with the meat or drugs or different liquors. You say it's impossible, stupid. No, I did it, and trust me, I put this technique work inside of my bar, and the 90% of the people they don't care about was a, a really dry martini with just a flavor of uh, uh, cranberry and uh, gold, edible gold. Was just for the experience for see. Oh my God! You make a tattoo in my uh, cocktail? Yes, or no. But this is a marketing. This early also to go to Europe without the social media. Long time ago, after a few days, I was I presented this one in Milan. A few days after, I was in Bordeaux, and people from France and England say, "Are you the bartender making cocktail with a tattoo gun?" Yes, I am. And I repeat. Maybe you think I'm a, a young guy, but I'm not so young. In that time, there was not Facebook and Instagram or something like that. There was only, you know, something of the people. So I did a marketing, a PR of myself. <coughs> Obviously, the Jerry Thomas era was just at the beginning of the launch of different brands and spirits. How these bread, spirits, liquors, they try to enter in the market and fix their product in the mind of the people. To count, the first approach was a posters. How many persons see the bar in the home? You can buy the shop. These incredible posters with the, I don't know. In this case, we are in. The, you can read it. It's 1894. The Campari. You have to imagine, in that time, there was not the print machine uh, or something like that. It was painted by hand. <laughs> then you had Peter Campari, and you can see Campari Milano with a, a, a road of Milano in the back. And then, in the 19th, you get Absin Parisien, who are representing a beautiful lady and uh, the bottle of scent, it was a really strange moment because that scene in that time was a, a bad boy because it was a, a lot of the fee there. So for drunk people, it was not the best time. A good example, our friend Fernand Branca in Milano. You can see some angels reproducing the old bottle of Fernand Branca. We are again in the 19th. Then started to introduce how to drink it. You can see in the second slide, the right is it a family branca, in your digestivo, translate the best digestive. How to serve it was a visual effect and was proposed inside of the bar because our brain, throughout our normal life, fixed something. It's like uh, the magic tricks, uh, illusionist tricks. During the game, the illusion, they show you, and you, are, you don't know, but this happened, something. And when the illusionist say you, for example, you can see in the back a lot of time, day before, because everything started, they uh, wrote the, the word Kampari name. In the end of your trip, when he, he called you in the stage, uh, ask you, tell me one color, uh, red, tell me one uh, important red, uh, Kampari. He played with his mind. The industry, obviously, for sell something, played around of you with a lot of uh, paint, image, or uh, information, and your brain captured this. Maybe at the same time you see it, but you, you, you don't recognize it. But after a few times, you recognize the brand. In fact, after a few times, you go in a bar and say, can I get one that from that brand car? Yes, maybe they serve you another glass, Say no, uh, I see somewhere is it sounded like this. But you never maybe dream before the for the track, you know what I mean. This is an only an example. And again, Campari, Campano uh, Vermouth, we are in the middle of the 19th, or less at the beginning of the 20th century. We get a futuristic design with different. Yesterday Fulvio Piccinino another incredible. Uh, mixology and connoisseur of the vermouth and gin uh, introduced the futurism in the beginning of the 20th century speaking about this uh, incredible trend uh, created in a few years and this uh, incredible trend 
proved a lot of information also in the marketing. You can see this is a futuristic design. But it's not enough. We was in the beginning of the 19th century, 20th century, sorry, in the middle. But we also need something else, publicity. Because the brand, they need to show, to show the brand for to be in the market at the same level to the rest of the competitors. This is uh, some imagine of my city. We are in the beginning of the 19th, and you can see this is a, a tram restaurant. Now it's not uh, big anymore. <laughs> you can see the big light bitter campari. This was uh, located in a main road. And every day, thousands and thousands of people, they work it, drive it on the train in front of this incredible restaurant and uh, was pitched up for Vita Campari, Vita Campari, Vita Campari, Vita Campari. Obviously, the Vita Campari is in your mind. And when you arrive in a bar, and hey, I would like to drink something, the bartender say, can I introduce you? Would you like to taste the Vita Campari? Yes, I'm curious because I see there is a, a piece of light uh, in the top of this restaurant. But what is this? All right, seven. Ignorant. So this is mine. Another trick. How many times you see the oldest uh, bar in Italy? There was a lot of uh, with a different uh, uh, publicity of the uh, liquors. Sambuca from the Italian, the grappa was really usual, and uh, usually was uh, a normal deal from the bread and the owner of the bar. Say, okay, I pay you this light, I pay you, I don't know, the small uh, uh, plug with the shinsan or shinar, and then you leave it outside the bar, and this was marketing. For sure, guys, we sell, they serve shinar. And again, this is a really clever because uh, you are captured every time you, you cross in front of oh, Shinan, Campari. And when you're speaking about how is the name of the famous uh, uh, bitter Campari, of course, because you know somebody put in your brain more clever. This is another incredible uh, thing. Uh, it was a, a flower day in my town, and you can see it's incredible. Now you can not see anymore something like that. Shinar, and it was made in flowers. Because obviously, Shinar also is a, a, a art shop liquor, but there is also uh, different herbs. So it was a perfect connection. Long time ago, the, the, the different brands was a usual to invest money for this kind of publicity. But why this? Because that was not like today, free social network to make your uh, own publicity was different, there was only these few things, then something like that. We are in the center of Milano, and uh, like in New York, we are, uh, you are in front of, how is the name of the in, uh, square? Uh, Times Square, sorry, sorry. You have a different color, the color wine. In this case, in Milano, you can see Volva is a uh, egg liquor, or you get Cinzano, Amaro Cora, Bosca Cora, uh, something like that. I can see any more for that. Restaurant, yes. It was on top of this uh, building at the night time. It was beautiful because you was driving in Milano, you see it's incredible light. In the right side, there is also again, you can see Cinzano, another incredible uh, uh, spot. That Apero, look at that on top. You can see the left side, there is an Apero. It was already, uh, is it, was it Barbieri owner? was not so famous like now. Thanks to Campari, now Aperol is uh, everywhere. Everyone knew Aperol for the Aperol Spritz. Before it was uh, yes, an aperitivo, uh, aperitivo but the end was so famous. And then again, I took this photo in Instagram, I think it's in Ireland, it's one of the most beautiful pictures uh, about the publicity of Martini. They painted the Martini logo in this uh, old house. It's so beautiful. Because uh, everyone, maybe across in the room, you see. Martini, 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 what's the Martini? We have to go. Before or less, I, I, I would like to try what is it. Then, I write magazines. Not 
to be uh, in two strong magazines like in Italian, we get Par Journal, for example, or Drink uh, International in England. But a normal magazine was possible to find uh, some publicity. In the left side, you can see the publicity to uh, show the Martini Verlut, white and red. And then the tropical uh, soul. They say just a few words for say, ah, this is Martini, oh, all the rocks, are like it's all orange. Cool. I have to remember, I buy it in the supermarket and they send it to in my home. Marketing, which is the reserve, they sell it. Then again, golden receipts with Italiano, they introduce it also how to use it into the cocktails. Another example for the cocktail, because it was not only sell a normal brand, was also sell a normal brand into the cocktail. So how to make it, how to drink it, for a perfect martini, using this is a Gibson uh, gin, not jitters. Then the left is a kind of uh, um, Negroni. Because if you analyze it, you get the Gosford gin, the Martini red is a bitter, and the, the blue one is a classic Martini. So, how to make your Negroni cocktail? And give Martini time. When you ask for a dry martini, insist, insist, they give you a shot, insist on the name Martini. Oh, incredible. So they push us to study and use it and remember something and not something else. Last but not the least, uh, a small article about how to make Irish coffee. We are around, guys, in 1970. So, 50 years ago, how has changed the world? Amazing. Thanks to technology, it's a completely different now. But it was not enough. Marketing was also in the bar industry, analyze and produce tools, promotion, and make competition. For arrive not only in the customer, because they understood the main, the core business was a bartender. Without the bartender, you cannot sell your product because I, maybe only it's for market. But if I have this product and I don't push it, you as a customer, you never taste it, you never know, you don't buy it. And this uh, small miss is broken, you know what I mean? The branding shaker was one of the most famous uh, bar tools. To make a normal shaker, they just add uh, the logo, Martini, that kind of, we get uh, from the brand, I suppose. Uh, this one arrived from the 1990, <coughs> at the end of the 20th century, and that one is uh, more or less in the middle of the, uh, the narrative, yes. I found it in the market, uh, it was beautiful, different shapes. Sometimes I will not uh, tools uh, so high quality to be used but are just uh, a small uh, gift to live in the bar and you say that I'm not sure you can use oh so beautiful, what was that? I would like to touch it, yeah I would like it, I want it because your colleagues say, wow you have the martini shaker, how do you find it? I want one and the martini say, yes you can obviously, you have to buy a bottle of martini increase the marketing then also Another really famous tool is the mixing glass of the martini in the environment. Usually it was dry or there was a small shot of the martini glass. Again in Milano was usual to find the tram. The, uh, this, uh, uh, this is stop for uh, with the, the Campari bitter and the Campari soda. Again, competition. As I mentioned before, the competition is the best way to fix the bartenders with your uh, logo. World class is a DIY zero. So obviously, in this competition, you have to use uh, the, the premium spirit of the zero. You have to use it, you have to promote it, you have to try it. And obviously, there is a connection, and uh, it's a fidelis causa, in Italy say, for link your name with these incredible brands. Again, Bartus, how many bartenders, how many bar they have the bar made with the logo of him, uh, favorite room, whiskey, because everyone used this, uh, this uh, bar made. 
And it's not only for the bartender, it's all for the customer because when you sit down in front of you and looking at the bar, how you make the cocktail, you put the glass on top of the, the top bar, they can see the bar, maybe you see Jack Daniel or uh, something else. So, fix again. Another incredible competition, or around the world, comparing competition is one of the most famous. And then he proposed the, uh, the use of Campari. This is not about the portfolio Campari, in this case, the use of the Chinsana. But uh, this is another street to say, okay, guys, if you like to use Campari, you have also to make this competition. Uh, uh, you can be famous, uh, you travel all around the world. Campari is so famous that they don't need all these tricks for to be more famous than this. But obviously, everyone in the bar scene, they make competition. Why don't you do the Campari competition? In fact, in a few years, is uh, in the same level of uh, more or less of the Bacardi legacy. Because Bacardi is a single trend making competition. Tiki trends. This one is one of my favorite because uh, it's amazing how a normal uh, cocktail changed uh, different uh, uh, years in the bar culture. To get a simple glass, uh, we arrived in different kind of garbage. Before it was usual to have uh, just uh, a slice of orange, uh, a cherry, uh, no more than this. The, 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 the tiki style, the tiki style arrived with uh, orchard, flowers, uh, pineapple, and different tropical elements. These incredible uh, this incredible trends, throughout the years, brought a different approach. The tiki bars forgive more atmosphere during your drink in the tiki mugs in ceramic. The design of the tiki, wherever, and it is more fun when we see how this trend arrived in the bottles in tiki style. Did you get a gas station? I don't know how it could be possible to translate a uh, no participation in a TV station, but they did it. And obviously, the most famous are the marks in ceramic design. TV show, another step, another evolution. How many of you, when you see a movie, a uh, TV show, Captured one uh, moment when uh, someone sells a cocktail or create a cocktail. A lot of times. A lot of times. Just for giving you an idea, one of my favorite things is uh, uh, the Great Gatsby. When they are inside of this uh, private club where there is a uh, the police uh, officer, there is everyone in the top of police, and at that they arrive this uh, cocktail, this colleagues, beautiful with uh, small eyes, eyes. Uh, with the garbage, with cherry, with beautiful colors. They say, what do you drink? And I don't know if they say, it's a color. It's a... So, and you say, oh, I want to have a drink, maybe. I want to ask you a favorite bartender. Some of the most important movies, every, every day you know Sex in the City, which is the, 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 the most important cocktail served in the, the Sex in the City. Cosmopolitan. Otherwise, it's the Martini cocktail. This is a, how to change the perception, if some of you was yesterday in my master class, to the martini style cocktail, more male centric, to the female centric. Because Mopolitan was uh, the opposite side of this incredible uh, medal. Then again, James Bond, the most famous with uh, martini, less from martini. And then again, well, a serious movie, the videos with meat curds, whiskey. A lot of time, I saw, I saw one time uh, to my friend Shane, I say it because uh, Shane is a really friend uh, to, uh, to Matt, the owner of the meters, and say, come on, how, how can you do this? Because uh, every time there is a, 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 this movie, this is a TV show, you can see in the series uh, there is the meters bottles with different uh, glass and they serve it uh, in front camera. It's really unusual, no? you know what I said? Oh. And then I discovered the great man is a friend of uh, the, the producer, exactly Shane, of this uh, uh, series, and uh, they added meters. But this is perfect match because meters, whiskey is a really great whiskey for uh, big people. In this case, we're speaking about billionaire, high style, luxury style, they drink all the best uh, whiskey. You know what it is. 
Then again, social media, of course. To guard the social media now is everything more easy because we can show, we can give more visibility, more marketing to our job as a partner, as a part uh, owner. What I mean? To guard our job, we can show all around the world for free in few pictures what we create, our art. There is a lot of channel, your personal one. In the case of me and Shane, we get cocktail and group where we post a 24 hour pictures of content from all around the world. Or otherwise, there is a, our friend, cocktail for you. He making a lot of video, he uh, suggested different uh, places, uh, or in this case in Italia, there is this, uh, the World 50 Best Cocktails, incredible new Instagram profile, where you can see crazy cocktail, incredible. But how this uh, social media could bring more marketing in our job? In different ways, you can promote yourself, you can promote to God, someone else, yourself and your bar. Because obviously, if you are in Australia and you uh, share, I don't know, a beautiful picture like this, someone of uh, the our colleague, maybe really say the name, I don't know, uh, Diego Ferrari, say, oh, it's good. Let me enter his uh, profile. And maybe he enter your profile, he can see your dreams. He can understand where you were and cocktail photo by photo by photo. You fix in the mind of your follower, your presence inside of this uh, universe of social media. It is really hard, it's not so easy. Present and future of the marketing in the bar scene. Now, we was speaking about the social media, but which is the next step? If you see in the Instagram profiles on in the internet, you can see there is a, a lot of uh, awesome uh, proposal. 3D printing into some cocktails. The study of the autographs as a garnish, <coughs> but it's a real study. And augmented reality is already uh, available in different cocktail bar, in different menus. I tried to introduce the uh, augmented reality Four years ago, when I see the top of Bad Giornale, this incredible collaboration, I called this guy, they give me a space on the uh, then uh, server, and they produced my own uh, postcard to gift during the master classes. And it was really easy. For free, you just downloaded the app, and you scanned my pictures, and there was uh, immediately a video come to out your uh, mobile phone with me presenting hi oh, I'm Nico Ferrari I work I work here and do this and do that. And trust me four years ago the people was no way no I doesn't work work doesn't work work. Okay, what is that? How many reality? It was only four years ago. Now everyone more or less understands what this is with that how many reality. Which is the last step. What I think could be happen in future. The help to get the uh, technology to give us more information about what we drink, what it is. Because to get the augmented reality, to scan a cocktail, and you can save in your database, this is my dream, this is the receipts, appear the receipts, not only in the uh, menu of the bar, with all elements inside, Matusan, fresh meat, kiwi, blah, 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 blah calories, and the ABV. Why all this information? Because now the customer is not only the, the person over the desk ask you just a drink, he pay, that's it. He's more, pay more attention about the uh, health and uh, give him more information about how many IBVs there is in my drinks. Alcohol perception, I mean, you know. How many calories there is in my drink in the main cocktails. This is another important perception for them. More info you, you give him, more easy. You say, why do you have to create a, a app or something like that? Only because of we are in this era. This era, this is what the human being asks. Otherwise, you can just read your menu 
This cocktail has a 70% ADP, 225 calories, uh, it's made like this, 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 and this is the direct control of the cocktail. Of course, you can do this. But the people, and you say, everywhere you can see, they have the, the, the health, mobile phone, everywhere, every center, from the morning after before you go to sleep. So, this is a normal request from the marketing, create more business for give you more opportunity to grow it and obviously to sell it. Guys, this is all my contacts. Thank you for so much for the VPN a lot. And uh, I hope my masterclass will give you more tips for the business. And uh, we'll see you, I hope, the next year, okay? Thank you.